cholera, a life-threatening disease marked by severe diarrhea, is caused by the bacterium Vibrio cholerae. The disease is typically transmitted by the ingestion of food or water contaminated with human feces. In the intestinal tract, cholera vibrios adhere to the surface of cells. The bacterium secretes cholera toxin, which has two types of subunits, five copies of a B subunit, which functions in binding to host cell receptors, and one copy of an A subunit, which exhibits the toxic activity. Cholera toxin is structurally similar to many other bacterial toxins that are generally termed AB toxins. Because it specifically affects the intestines, cholera toxin is also called an enterotoxin. Each of the five B subunits binds to a glycolipid called ganglioside GM1 on the intestinal cell membranes. In this way, cholera toxin binds tightly to intestinal epithelial cells. The A subunit consists of two domains, the A1 domain, which contains the toxin's activity, and the A2 domain, which tethers the A subunit to the B ring. A protease clips the A subunit into two polypeptides, which remain together by virtue of a disulfide bond. The binding of cholera toxin to GM1 triggers endocytosis. The resulting toxin-containing vesicle is transported to the endoplasmic reticulum. The A1 peptide is then released from A2 and the rest of the complex by a reduction reaction at the disulfide bond. From the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum, the toxin is then transported into the cytoplasm. The mission of the A1 peptide is to modify a membrane-associated protein called a G-protein that binds to the enzyme adenylate cyclase and controls its activity. A G-protein normally functions in the following way. An inactive G-protein resides in a complex made up of alpha, beta, and gamma subunits. The inactive alpha subunit carries a GDP molecule. When a hormone activates an appropriate receptor, the activated receptor can activate the G-protein allowing it to release GDP and take up GTP. The alpha subunit separates from the beta and gamma subunits. The activated alpha subunit can bind to and activate adenylate cyclase. Activated adenylate cyclase converts ATP to cyclic AMP. The G protein alpha subunit has a GTPase activity and soon cleaves GTP to form GDP thereby inactivating itself and adenylate cyclase. The G protein complex reforms and only a small amount of cyclic AMP has been made. The A1 peptide of cholera toxin is an enzyme that uses a molecule of NAD+, which is made up of a nicotinamide group, a ribose sugar, and an ADP molecule, and adds the ADP ribose to the G protein alpha subunit. This is an ADP ribosylation reaction, and it prevents the G protein from cleaving GTP into GDP and inorganic phosphate. Adenylate cyclase remains activated for a long period, increasing the levels of cyclic AMP tremendously. Elevated levels of cyclic AMP stimulate a host enzyme called protein kinase A. The catalytic subunits of the enzyme activate various ion transport channels, including one called CFTR, which stands for Cystic Fibrosis Transmembrane Conductance Regulator. CFTR exports chloride ions. As chloride and other ions leave the cell, water leaves as well in an attempt to equilibrate the osmolarity. Ultimately, the bloodstream provides the water, chloride, and other ions that enter the intestinal lumen. The influx of fluid results in diarrhea, Although devastating to the human, diarrhea benefits the bacterium in large part by helping disseminate the species in the environment.